Okay, so if there's one thing I figured out from yesterday when I was uh, working on the physics bring up is that I need the ability to determine when uh, certain state data has been inserted or removed so I can perform faster paths to determine on what needs to be done on said data. Like in the physics example, like I only want to know as a physics system when entities or state data has been added so I can add those to worlds or otherwise been removed so I can remove them without necessarily them being lost already or fully deleted. I want to have like a transition state where it's like it's been inserted or it's been updated or it's about to be removed kind of deal. And then I can like in the next mm, tick perform whatever's necessary for safely removing it, then it can be deleted out of the way somewhere else. But in order to do that, I need to I need to move away from this standard map for states. I need something similar, but way better. So to begin, we'll just it's gonna probably it's going to be a template. It's gotta be. So state pool mm, template. I'll call it that for now anyways. Okay, okay. Type name, state type. Of a class. This is going to have to be a class because it's going to be a bunch of public and private stuff. So, I'm gonna, so do, 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 do. at the moment, okay, let's start from what we have at the, as a very basic. We have uh, let's just say foe render state. Okay, or rather state type. Main storage, something like that. And we'll need to include CSID.hpp, great. map that's regular then we need to we need two types of things In, insert insertion and removal now in order to do this safely like I don't want to be in the process of inserting or removing things when like a lot of tick you know uh, processing is happening on each tick it'll be like what's probably going to happen is it'll be like a maintenance phase for state data pools that things have been marked as to be inserted or to be updated or to be removed those things happen and then the systems come along and operate on the data again and then it's just a repeating cycle like that and if i have like flags, if I have like uh, mutexes to make sure like to prevent from reading and writing when it's like in a maintenance phase. I, the, the, a lot of these things could probably be done fairly asynchronously, all said and done. <clears throat> I think. But that's that's something for next time. One thing I need to do now. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Removal. That's regular. And we'll have removal stuff. We need to... Removal is one of the big things. So regular. We'll have like a common... Like a maintenance function that does like, you know... Rem 
Uh, what it will, okay, what will pro the maintenance process be? It'll be, it'll be like, uh, it'll remove things and then it'll compact the, and then it'll insert new things. This, this way, if you have both the same ID being removed and inserted, I mean, I could do extra processing to like, if detect that, and then just update it instead of removing and inserting it. But it may actually just be safer just to remove it, run the removal process stuff, and then insert the fresh one instead of just updating. It's an easier idea to handle, at least. So I'll kind of work with that. Okay, so we've got removals. Let's say we have a couple of public functions. We'll have a function that says, hey, I want to remove um, I want to remove this. Uh, we'll have a size T, which will be like the number removed. Because I want to have like, what's going to happen is that anything that's being removed, that's being marked or removed through this will be put onto a list that says standard vector info ID uh, for removal. And remove list, something like that. Oh, I need a vector. I'll also need like an atomic or mutex at least. So what's going to happen in the remove, it's going to be dot lock. Move list dot in place back ID and then we leave. Simple as that. This will return M remove dot size whenever that is. This is the number of, I no, no, no. Um, to be removed list stuff. And then we have last maintenance cycle. Size T M removed. Start itself at zero. And then we have a vector for now. like this, although it wouldn't be this, it'd be like a standard pair of ID and the state type. So I wouldn't even need this. I could just do this. Okay, as part of the remove, remove cycle or um, pass, move pass, insert pass, be like a private function, be like.
Maybe I do want a map. Do a map of this. Make it easier for now. See if I can, can I do templates? Void this. That move pass. Okay. Need the remove so m remove sync dot lock auto to remove list standard move of the m remove list then just get out of here otherwise how do we do this we have a list we want to sort it we also want to remove hmm Duplicate items, standard, unique. Hmm. No, 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 no. Uh, M removed storage dot clear. What this is going to do is this is going to it's going to clear whatever's in there. Make sure they go through the proper the destructors if they have them, and then we're going to do M removed storage dot reserve. A size, which is like what to remove list dot size. Make sure it has enough capacity. That's great. At this point, we have to go through them all. So for auto const and iterator to remove list. Uh, 
uh, not equal and then storage dot end if it is the end continue otherwise We want to bring it over. So, um, standard move of can I do this? I've no idea. Uh, let's add this to the application and just see. Let's well, just add it to here. No. Um, just this extra file, which is just going to make things a bit easier. So just have an extra state. CTP. This is going to include that and include um, .htp. dot maintenance I just want to see if it even like can even compile this even if it's standalone with nothing else I uh, get rid of that come back to this like does this even because this will create that insert pass doesn't exist so remove that for the moment No reserve. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much. Hmm. In place, uh, two things, which is the search iterator first that and m main storage dot erase that mm -hmm. that should does that compile? That does. Okay. Actually, one thing we probably want to do at the first thing of the maintenance is at this point we're we're locked into doing maintenance. So we want to actually do like clear removed and clear inserted or something, something like that. So just in case we get to the remove pass and we're not actually clearing clearing these out. So
don't have that quite yet. So we will at least always clear it. Mm -hmm. We don't have to lock this down. Because if we're inside maintenance, we're going to have a, like a larger like read. We'll have write access to ourselves. So no one else will have read or write access at this time. Mm, yes. So we need like a common. Read, write, mutex. mutex. Hmm. How do I want to access these things? And hmm. at the same time, do I want? to have more than one state type involved at the same time. Hmm, like some kind of splitting of hot and cold data. Possibly. Possibly. Okay, in order to test removal, I need to have insertion. So let's let's get that kind of going as well. I'll need to like insert for OID. And then state type, I guess. It'll be a moved object, moved or copied, whatever. And then we'll have something like, much like below, where it's like the number of inserted that was inserted last time. Mutex and insert sync. We'll do a map again for the moment. OID or 
Yeah. Those are things to insert. Much like below for removal. And that'll mean we'll have a vector of faux ID Let's kind of insert it to remove and removed to remove. Oh, come on, get out of here. To remove sync. Yeah. So M to insert, lock it up. Okay, we got that stuff to insert. Okay, uh, to insert a dot size. If we want to insert something, we're going to have to to insert dot lock. Okay, we got that. Then we're going to have to M to insert. Place ID and standard move of state. Mm -hmm. Then we come down to insert pass. What do we want to go and want to do? Here we 
we'll just short circuit that. I'm not entirely sure what to do if something already exists in the pool. Because what's in the pool may already like have data that's entwined or as part of a system. And I don't want to accidentally overwrite that. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'll just discard the data I have here. Okay, I also actually need I need the list of inserted, right? Inserted. So I have the new that size. Okay, yeah. It's not equal to it already exists in the main storage of right. Don't overwrite, I should say. Uh, continue. Otherwise, a main storage dot in place. To insert will be cleared out when we leave. So we don't really have to worry about that. Uh, we need to M inserted. This 
one has been added. Okay, what I'm actually liking or thinking about here, rather, might be I'll just put this in a test down here instead for the moment, because that, uh, that should allow me to actually start testing these things a lot earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move the, this down. An individual state pool. Get a little bit of a copyright going on. Quite yet, but we'll just have a name space. Or we'll just have an empty type, a struct type, which is just, you know. Regular. We need a public function. It's like size t, which is size. There it is.
Really, come on. Help. Come on, what is this? Like, uh, this is a map, right? There we go. <clears throat> Zero 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 two two zero. Okay, I need to access this stuff now. Now I can send back regular iterators. Okay, for the moment, for the moment. Um, hmm. Like an accessor, maybe, or just a pointer to the object. Uh, let's just say we're returning a state. And reference, just a reference to it. It's like get, right? Something like that. We'll have a get. Just takes ID, I guess. We'd also have to do something. We'd have to be able to return the list of like. A list of inserted ones then we go to that then we'd have something like get removed or mm, I don't have a good list of those that were removed do I Okay, I don't know how to access these yet. Whatever. We'll figure it out sooner or later. So that where we have dot.
I can't do a reference in case it doesn't exist. We have to be like a pointer. Oh, this is oh, this is awful. And then storage. Okay. Then if we were to temp dot maintenance again, check out these are zeros and that's two. I'm not in hmm. like I'm liking I'm liking the direction that this is going. Like the ability to track what's been inserted, what's been removed. And but like this is still very basic and very rudimentary and this is very prone to error still. And I d still can't get stuff out if I've removed it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to do some. I I need to replace this storage, uh, these storage uh, mediums, basically right away. I can't I can't stick with 
the standard map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into, well, this was the first part where I kind of create this kind of um, pool template basic. And then I'm going to have to have a second part now where I'm going to create like some kind of storage mechanism. So that this is the end of part one. Cheers. On to part two.